You're listening to The Startup with Monique LeRae, only on L.A. Talk Radio. How's it going, Los Angeles? This is The Startup with Monique LeRae, and I'm Monique LeRae. Happy Memorial Day weekend. A shout out to all the veterans and everyone who helps to make America what it is. And uh, I'm in my camo to celebrate you guys. So shout out to you and yours on this Memorial Day weekend. I hope you're having a safe time and enjoying some sun, some fun, some barbecue. I uh, always work through the holidays, so my show's every Sunday. So uh, I know a lot of you are out having fun. Hopefully you're catching this on the replay. We have some amazing entrepreneurs on today. I'm so excited to bring on Danielle Davis from AK Jewelry. Danielle, how are you today? Well, hopefully she's going to come on in any moment. But I'm actually wearing one of Danielle's pieces. Uh, it's kind of a two-toned pearl set and then i have the earrings on i met her through a, a family friend an old family friend and uh she was at our gifting suite recently with her jewelry line it's a beautiful costume line that you can get at a very good price for any of your events so ak jewelry uh jewelry on a budget is what it's called so it's a really great outlet for um costume jewelry so uh hopefully she'll be back on the line here soon let me give you guys some updates on the Pandemic Project documentary. Really exciting updates. We just got a new Laurel. For those of you who weren't here on the last show, I explained what a Laurel was. It's kind of that Greek, I've got to get the proper term of what a Laurel is, but it's that flower um, emblem around film posters, movie posters. So we got our second one. We are submitted and considered at the Paris Independent Film uh, festival and we're excited and this is just for the trailer so we're wrapping up editing and uh we're excited so thank you so much guys all right and so now danielle is here danielle how you doing today good how are you <laughs> oh good good no i know you're traveling today and uh, thank you for being able to join us um tell everybody who you are and a little bit more about ak jewelry all right. Well, I'm Danielle. I'm the CEO of AK Jewelry, which is an independent consultant for a company called Paparazzi Accessory. Now, with Paparazzi Accessory, what I am able to do is go out and purchase the brand, the costume jewelry, and I sell it at a price of $5 each piece. Um, I got into this business because I'm a single mom and I love jewelry and fashion and shopping of all types. So I wanted something that was more affordable. And I decided to go ahead and, and become an independent consultant for jewelry, jewelry um, and accessories, paparazzi accessories. Very good. That's really big, that's really smart to do it, um, to do things that you really love. I find that people who lean into the, the hobbies, if you will, if I dare call it a hobby, they become more successful because you're doing it from a place of passion and not just, right. it's not a, it's not a work drain, you know? Right, right, yeah. right, nice. exactly. So tell us more about um, the type of jewelry that you would buy before you got with this company. Where would you shop before? You know, I would um, I, 14 karat gold, go to Nordstrom's, um, buy a, a beautiful piece, and it would cost me just for like a little um, pennant, maybe $200. You know, yeah. And would, yeah. <laughs> you yeah. Know? And then you're like, you where know? is it? Did I drop it on the ground? Or? Right, Ugh. right. And then after 12 months, it's no longer valid, you know what I mean? It doesn't go with anything, it's out of style, it's fading, it's everything else. You know, and I was just like, I have to do something different. Like I love, love shopping, so it's a hobby. Yes. And, um, but at the same time, you still have bills to pay, you still, you know, you have to go to your nine to five, you have to still survive in life. So I ran across, I, I met a young lady who was selling jewelry and it was some beautiful pieces that she had. And, um, and I asked her how much? And she said they're $5 a piece. Well, I asked her, well, how did you get involved in this business? And she told me that um, basically she uh, had a friend that she was purchasing from. 
And she decided instead of spending all her money, why does she be a representative? And I said, okay, sounds like something I want to do. And that's how I, I got involved. That. Yeah. How long ago yeah. was that like adjacent to the pandemic? What timeline was that? I actually started right at the beginning of the pandemic before the pandemic even came out. So it's about January of that year. And it was, okay. a, it was a blessing. Yeah, it was a blessing because came April, everything had shut down. And this, what I do is mainly online. So I don't have overhead like a store um, where I had to shut down, close my doors. The business was still going, you know, and though people were in quarantine, they were still by purchasing, you know, they found a new way to live, like with Zoom calls. <laughs> People are going to yeah. church on Zoom and Facebook Live, and yeah, yeah, it, it was shop to you drop online. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, get all dressed up and go nowhere, I, or or Zoom it. You know, people are going on right. Zoom dates, so I'm sure you got a lot of uh, some traffic there. Uh, right. So right. tell me, um, <laughs> yeah, tell me if someone wanted to sign up with you or join your network to be a part of AK Jewelry, what um, what would they need to do? Okay, so they would just have to go to my website, Jewels, J-E-W-E-L-Z, onabudget.com, and there's a link that says become a partner. Um, as in any business, you do invest in your business. Um, it, it only costs you $100 just to start, and you get 200 pieces in that first po um, package that you receive. Now, if you spend the 200, I'm sorry, the $100 for the 200 pieces, if you multiply that by $5, you make your money back. Boom, just like that. Wow. Guys, just I think like it's that. gonna be a hot vac summer or a hot everybody summer. I feel like this <laughs> is gonna be the second uh, roaring 20s wave. People will be getting naked and having fun and <laughs> getting together, breaking up, getting pregnant, getting married, getting, to, I don't know. Everybody's just going to be having a good old time. <laughs> and as we should, we've all been on lockdown. So you're going to want to look good. I actually have a very special piece. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's a two-tone pearl set. And then I have like, it's like a metallic. Oh my God, I love this piece, Danielle. And you know, you were at the Oscars week gifting suite just two days before the Oscars event. And a lot of the nominees came in and you got to meet some of them. What did they think of your jewelry set? And what, what was some of the feedback from them? Um, so at the gifting suite, what we did was we uh, provided a display of the Z collection. Um, and the Z collection, now those pieces are exclusive and they come out once a year and they're $25. Mm -hmm. um, but they couldn't believe that the, the, they were $25. Um, they're nice, heavy. Everything is lead-free and nickel-free. Um, you can wear it on the red carpet. But they, yes. they loved it. it. The price point was was great. They were yes. impressed. <laughs> I think that some of your pieces might have made it to to the event. You never know. Because, you know, people right. have more of changes and things. And we're going to have to look. I feel like there's a few nominees that might have had something on. But we're going to do oh, a deeper yeah. dump. <laughs> okay, let's take a look. Let's look for it. <laughs> let's look for that. Um, so we were talking about what you have here on display. Walk us through um, some of the pieces you have here and why you chose them and tell us what makes these special. Okay, so some of the pieces I have here with, with my brand, we have a variety of pieces. It's either going to be gold, silver, gun metal. Um, it's going to be pearls, like what you're wearing. Um, we have the stones, like what I'm wearing. Right, right. Yes. Um, these pieces, I just chose the silver pieces because this is what's considered as a fashion fix, which is a set. You buy it separately or as a set. So this is five dollars each. Wow. It has a matching ring and has a matching bracelet. So wow. on my website, it's labeled as fashion fix, and these change monthly. There's always something new every month. And then the other piece that I chose was a gold necklace with some rhinestones on it. Oh. And it comes with matching earrings. So majority of my pieces come with matching earrings and pieces five dollars with the earrings. This is awesome. I'm gonna I've gotta get some pieces ready for for my trips I have coming up. Cause now that I know it's just you know, I, I knew about it, but I just I'm glad we're doing a deeper dive. And that's what this show's about, really just understanding each brand and motivation for it. 
And I like that you right, empowered right. yourself within your hobby. Yeah. You're like, I'm going to oh, yeah. shop till I drop, but I'm just not going to drop my wallet in the toilet. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's awesome. And you know, Danielle, dare I say it? Cause, and I'm thinking about chopping it all off again, but when you have a shorter hairdo, accessorizing really is key. I think, um, I remember when I had it about as short as yours and blonde and I would just rock the accessories and I think it makes it more fun to kind of it does. play with jewelry. It does. You're right. It yeah. does. It makes it. I mean, the haircut is liberating in the first place. It and really is. Brand, it, right. And part of my brand is that I want women to know that you are strong. You are beautiful. You are creative and, and confident. So when you yeah. accessorize it with the paparazzi jewelry or the AK jewelry, the five dollar jewelry, because it's five dollars, it doesn't mean that it's not a beautiful piece. Wear it. Wear it with as with your confidence. Be strong about what you're wearing and putting on. And, Absolutely. Yeah. Look, yeah. you can wear your um, AK paparazzi jewelry with your Louis Vuitton or Hermes bag. I mean, hey, we can mix and match here. It doesn't have to be all or right. <laughs> right. 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 You, know, you can still have your Louboutins and, uh, and your AK jewelry on. Exactly. <laughs> so exactly. Give, everybody, give everybody your social media handles, if you will, where they can find you. And I know you have a campaign going on on Facebook right now. Right. So what we're going to do what we talked about is my uh my the company name is AK Jewelry and we're trying to figure out what we're going to uh what AK is going to stand for so i want to put it out there to um a competition if you go to instagram which is jewel underscore ob and uh with this campaign whoever comes up with the best name for or, or the abbreviation AK <laughs> yeah. um, we're going to provide you, you're going to be able to win a, a piece of a Z collection piece, which is the value of $25. Right. And if you go to my website, jewels, J E W E L Z on budget.com, you can actually check out the Z collections to see it, it's beautiful. It is, it, it's amazing. Oh. Um, and, and see what pieces we have available for you. Yes, that's great. So it's a win-win situation. Go on, get your hot vac summer jewelry uh, from the Z collection, and then also help Danielle, Danielle um, name her brand and uh, get a free, a, free, ah, a free piece of jewelry. I can't talk today. I'm so excited. Okay. <laughs> this is a win-win. So it's, um, can you say the abbreviation again on Instagram? Because, you know, sometimes with the dashes, it's hard to find. We'll also tag her. Um, on Instagram, but go ahead and say it for us again. Sure, it's jewelry underscore ob. That's the Instagram Great. handle. Great. And the name that she's looking for, um, the acronym that she's, or the abbreviation is AK Jewelry. So, what does AK stand for, uh, startup listeners? Help Danielle start up her brand name. All right. And uh, I think it's just in time. For everything, like I said, it's going to be a beautiful summer for everybody. Um, what are your plans with your brand in the next six months to a year? Where do you see this going? Um, actually, I'm I'm working on that now. I'm located in Arizona, so one of the goals for coming to Arizona is to visit family, but also to get the brand in Arizona. Um, my ultimate goal is to actually get the brand on the red carpet. So that's the twelve month goal. Yes. I love that. I can help you with that. We need yeah. to talk. <laughs> <laughs> we can make yeah. that happen. That's something we can make happen. I'm excited to to see where you take this. And um, I'm really more excited to see. I hope that your name comes from one of our listeners slash viewers on the startup. I would love to to make that happen. And um, right. Yay. Thank you for, <laughs> yay. I'm so excited. So thank you for coming. I'm gonna um, let you go. I'm gonna give a little update on the film and some other stuff that I'm doing. So I'll set you free to Arizona. Please don't melt out there. Shout out to Arizona, everybody out there. <laughs> and um, oh, the Tattooed Realtor, shout out to Justin Mercer, one of our networking friends there. We're coming out with the sizzle reel for him really soon. He's You're gonna see his billboards. He's tattooed and he's the friendliest guy and he sells real estate out there. So you might see him. <laughs> Nice, nice. All right, Danielle, do you want to leave us with anything? Any um, jewels of uh, entrepreneurship knowledge or any motivational things you'd like to leave us with? 
I would love to. Um, just do not give up. You you can make it. Just keep going. Never give up. Follow your dreams, and live life. That's it. Oh my God! It's yeah. a pleasure to see you again, and we're gonna see you each other well. soon. I hope have fun in AZ. And uh, check back with us. We'd love to hear an update in the next few months on where it is. All right. Well, thank you for having me, okay? All right, Danielle. See you later. Thank Bye -bye. you. Bye, love. All right, guys. That's Danielle Davis uh, from AK Jewelry. And again, go to OB underscore, Jules underscore OB on Instagram and uh, check her out. And, you know, I can't say enough about this piece. I just like it because it's different. Um, even just the little handle here and the coloring. Uh, and anyway, there you go. So um, anything that you want to decorate, you know, your, your body, your outfit, it doesn't have to break the bank with her. Um, and if you guys come up with a, a great name, AK Jewelry, I think that would really be awesome to hear that one of the startup listeners slash viewers um, was able to help her name her, her brand. I am tongue tied today, guys. It is, uh, I'm a little tired today, I'll be honest. Uh, been going like an energizer bunny, but there's a lot to, to go over. I want to steer you guys to a couple things. The first thing is the symposium app. I've been plugging this. My friend Troy Rockies and his partner, uh, Joseph Marmertel. I hope I said his last name correctly. Don't get mad at me, Joe. Uh, they have an amazing app called the symposium app. It's symposium.us. You download this app, you upload your profile. If you teach if you educate, if you have skills that can help people out in the world, if you're a motivational speaker or um, a work a fitness expert, uh, if you're a cook, a chef, a celebrity, and you have skills or you can hold court uh, and give out information that people would want, you can monetize those skills on Symposium. It's like one of the hottest apps out there and it's catching a lot of uh, media, including a new article by yours truly on communalnews.com. And it's called post, uh, as we entered the post pre, uh, excuse me, as we entered the pre post pandemic era, why symposium app is the future. A lot of people aren't going to want to go back into the office. They're going to want to stay right there with their families, stay safe and maximize their time at home and still make a living. And so symposium app is really great for doing just that. You'll see yours truly on that app too. So I'm offering um, tips and tidbits on film and documentary, excuse me, documentary film and reality TV uh, genre things So and podcasts too. So if you want my time there, you can get me, you can hire me on there and I will help you with your project. So lots of hands in the fire, guys. Uh, what else? I want to give you guys an update on the uh, pandemic film. I did tell you about the Pandemic Project documentary, how we got our second laurel in consideration at the Paris Independent Film Festival, which we're so honored to be to be selected and considered. So there's different steps to it. You submit to these film festivals, they uh, choose or deny, and then once they choose you, you're considered selected. And then once you're selected, they choose a winner. So there's three steps to it. Uh, so we're in the second step, and we're hoping we get we get a win. We're also submitted in the uh, Las Vegas movie um, awards. There's a couple other ones too. I think there's one in Canada somewhere, maybe Toronto. Um, I have to look at the list, but there's a few of them. So these are just the trailers, guys, like I said. But once we get the film done, we're going to submit all over the world the whole film. So that's where you'll first be able to view the film once we get accepted to a film festival. And then hopefully we'll make a really great deal, sell it, get it distributed, and then bring it outward to you guys. My goal is to have it picked up by somebody and into your hands by Christmas. That's my goal. Because we can look back and reflect at that time. You'll be with your family and friends and go, whoo, what a year, what a couple, two years. And then we can you know, put it on the shelf and look at it in retrospect later. Um, so that's kind of um, the vision I have for it. You know, we make plans and, and we see what happens, right? Um, so we are, we just finished Kingston, Jamaica. You guys saw um, Daniel, I believe his name was Daniel, that was on last week. And he was telling us about Kingston and the dance hall um, genre there and his documentary that he's doing on that. So I'm actually headed up to Canada 
we were trying to do this before and I just didn't want to get stuck there for two weeks. So I had to be back here for some events and some things, but um, I'm headed up to Canada soon to see what's going on up there. If they'll let me in and we'll be documenting for the pandemic film, which is the international version of the film. And uh, that's what's up next on the international calendar. All right. Thank you, Ronan. Uh, Ronan, give me just one minute. Um, Shout out to Ronan and, and Sam and everybody at LA Talk Radio. They keep everything so great. Thank you for having me and putting up with us at home and just everything you guys do. You guys are awesome. Um, so after uh, Canada, we're going to head over to Europe, then Asia, and um, I think, you know, maybe Brazil, um, and then we'll be a wrap. Perhaps Belize on the way back, perhaps uh, Costa Rica, we'll see. Oh, and Morocco. So those are the areas of the world that we're trying to get to and really be thorough. People keep saying you're, you're traveling a lot and you're really going everywhere. And it's really I'm pushing myself because I want to give you guys thorough tape. I want to look back and see that we, we really were thorough with this thing. And, you know, I think it's something to be proud of, you know, not the situation, but just looking at it and documenting it. And I'm excited to bring it to you. So, um, that's the update on that. I also want to put out to you guys September 17th in Hollywood. We're having the uh, Emmys Week Celebrity Gifting Suite two days before the Emmys. If you have a brand or product like Danielle um, and a lot of the other guests that you want to place in front of celebrities or influencers and you want to get some photo assets, shout outs and recognition for your brand, you use those things, use those photo assets on your website and your social media platforms. And it helps um, bring some vision and some focus into your brand. So that's an option for you. Email me at capaquariusmedia at gmail.com, C-A-P, aquariusmedia at gmail.com, and we will get you in front of those people. All right. Let's bring in our second guest. Uh, we have Cynthia from the Silly Bodies. Hi, hi. How are you? How are you, beautiful? Good I'm good. You. How are you? Nice to see oh. you too. Oh my god, you have a beautiful, like raspy radio voice. I love oh. it. Ooh, thank you. <laughs> Happy Memorial Day weekend. Here I am thank emailing you. people on the weekend. I mean. Oh. Right, no party for me today, but you know. <laughs> uh, well, we're partying. Okay. We're putting seeds of a brand party for you, and there you go. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> yes. So, why don't you tell everybody about Asili? We're excited to learn about this brand. Okay. Well, Asili is um, I'm doing body products. And I'm still expanding the line. Right now, I just have a body jelly. Yes. That's really great. Um, it is. And, you know, I I came up with the body jelly because I would tell you a little. Well, I guess it's not an embarrassing story, but I yeah, love okay. <laughs> I love petroleum jelly because it spreads nice. It you know, it coats my skin good. Um, yes. It's not ashy. <laughs> so yes. I was like, oh, I wish there was something that had the consistency of petroleum jelly, but smelled really good. You know, so I was like, yeah. huh, that might be something to try and work on. So I started working on it yes. and yes. I've been working on it for a long time. Um, got a nice, you know, consistency that I like. It's all made out of natural products. I have like coconut oil, shea butter, cocoa butter, um, jojoba oil, um, rose hip oil, you know, all those things that are good for your skin that hydrate your skin and keep that moisture in. And yes. so now. It has a great smell. I have different smells like cucumber melon. There's um, lemongrass. There's, you know, lavender at night when you want to relax. You just rub it all on and, you know, it helps you calm down and relax. So the pandemic broke out and, you know, all that washing of the hands and the, sanit you know, the hand sanitizer just really makes your hands like, you know, just dry. So yeah. then people started, you know, asking me, I started giving out little samples and they're like, huh, this is really nice. Like, you know, you should go ahead and like put that out there. Yes. <laughs> so I decided to go ahead and put it out there. And that's kind of how, you know, a silly got started. <laughs> And a silly, it sounds like jelly, like petroleum jelly. Right. Um, now, a silly is the Swahili word for natural. Oh. Yeah. 
I love that <laughs> something means something cool like that. Right. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. So you're able to do a little something with the ants. Yes. And then give it a good quality smelling, good smelling product. I have, mm -hmm. um, do you have your jar with you? Because I have one here and I'm trying to see what the bag is. That's okay. I, I, That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> no, no, we're, 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 I really like the logo on the back. Um, the okay. code. Tell us about you as an entrepreneur. Like, is this mm -hmm. your first endeavor? And when did you know that you were an entrepreneur? It sounds like you stumbled upon um, this product by answering a, a problem, answering right. something that you, for something you liked, you made it even better. But right. when did you know you were an entrepreneur? Uh, well, I've just, I've always wanted my own business. Um, and I actually, what I do now is I work with um, disabled adults and I've been doing it for like 20 years now. Before that, I worked with kids. I just, I love, you know, just helping people and making right. them feel comfortable. So I actually have like four adults that I help out, you know, seven days a week, 24 hours a day. <laughs> wow, really? So yeah, I help them do everything. You know, um, I help fix their meals and make sure they, you know, they're dressed okay and, you know, feeling good, having fun, just, you know, trying to live life as normally as possible. Wow. And so then I kind of, you know, kind of wanted something a little more, you know, because I like to keep busy. Yes. So, trying to find my creative side so i first started with jewelry which was cool i actually you know made some nice little pieces but unfortunately i developed like you know something with my hands where you know doing that little stuff was kind of you know yeah not working out too well so i said i want to do something really good that i could share you know with people and so i just started you know looking for certain things that i could like you know excel in and make it great and you know something that i loved as well because i love to use my own stuff and i want to mm -hmm. make it as great as possible so you know then other people can use it and enjoy it as well as i do and so that's what i was like huh i started searching and searching and then you know body butters came up and i was like oh i like that I like <laughs> and you too. Body, yeah i did some body butters and those came out really good and then um after that it kind of changed into the the jellies nice. and that's how i ended up being <laughs> <laughs> and this is a really good way to get into entrepreneurship like i was saying um my professor who i just wrapped his entrepreneur class shout out to professor uh scott frederickson at saddleback college he's the best if you guys are launching a brand in real time he will help you with the business plan and it's amazing so uh yes. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know why I said all that. Oh, I said it because he had right. this um, this point in his class where anything mm -hmm. that you come up with should answer a problem or answer a right. question. Or a problem. And it sounds okay. like that's the best way to do it with yours yeah. as well. Yeah, it, it was awesome. Um, I like that actually. <laughs> Yeah, it's good. It's mm -hmm. good. It's, it's a basic thing that if you follow that, uh, you could really do some great things. And it sounds like the ceiling yeah. is on its way. Where do you envision yeah. um, Isili being a year from now, now that we're getting, we're in the pre post pandemic era? Yeah, a, a year from now, um, you know, I, I want to get into other areas as far as like, you know, shampoos, body wash, um, you know, bath um, salts you know, help people relax, feel good, smell good. Um, I'm all about relaxation and feeling good and making people, you know, just feel nice, smell nice, look nice, you know, relax. Um, I do a little, you know, running track and, you know, I've been trying to get back into it because I've been out of it for a minute. <laughs> and oh. so when my body gets sore and I'm hurting and I don't smell so good because I've been working out at the gym, I just want to come home and feel good. So I kind of, you know, I see me going in the future, you know, to produce things that just make people feel good when they've had a hard day at work or they just had a hard day, period. When people are down and they just want to feel good, I just want something to, you know, help people feel good. You know, wow. and so later on, I, I want a whole nice line of products that cater to people and make them feel great. 
this is amazing and it's coming from a beautiful place. I don't know where you get all those those extra loving endorphins from. I mean <laughs> God bless you. <laughs> Thank you. God bless them. You're welcome. You're helping adults every day. I that's yeah. you know, that's the one thing that I'm kinda like, oh man, what yeah. are you doing when you're older? That's not that's yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> It's full uh, of challenges too, and never a dull moment. I tell you that. <laughs> oh wow! Yeah, I, I don't know how good I would do if I was. I don't know, but we'll see what happens. Right. Um, <laughs> life is an adventure. <laughs> it, it really is. <laughs> so you know, I I like that you're. If you wait one second, I'm gonna grab the jar because it's it's driving okay. me nuts. It's literally right, right here, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Hang out. While I do this, why don't right. you look at the screen and give everybody your mm -hmm. social media handles and where they can find you. Okay. Okay. I sure will. So um, the website is www.aseelybodyworks.com. And um, my Instagram is aseely247. So you guys can, you know, look on the website i got some stuff going on there and um i'm working on that instagram getting you know a bunch of my products and stuff like that on um so hopefully that'll be done really soon um just been working on you know trying to make things look as presentable as possible and there you go all right so Yay, here there we are there's the Sealy <laughs> brand guys yes. and was, this was the pink sugar Body yes. I love pink sugar. <laughs> Ooh, it's really we need, pretty. We need smell a vision right now. <laughs> smell a vision. We need that yes. nanotechnology. Oh, yes. God. That is amazing. Um, you know, there yes. was a couple of things in here. I have allergies, guys, so that's why I'm always doing that. Oh, no. I don't have the road, everybody. I've just right. tested more than a porn star. <laughs> don't worry. Right. It's out of control. Um, but, you know, this is really, it's, Good as common little packages is all I'm yes. gonna say. Because I'm about to, I'm about to do a what's in the bag, which um for a lot oh, of you nice. brand sponsors, uh, I did one that I'm gonna upload soon, and mm -hmm. I'm gonna do another one for Oscars Week, which you were involved with, and right. uh, show everything. But I have thirty plus brands in this bag, and nice. this is one of the ones that it just packs a punch. <laughs> yeah, I wish you could smell it. It's beautiful. I know. <laughs> Let me go this way. Yes, yes. It's a little right. <laughs> ah, but you'll see it on my what's in the bag. And um, yes. you guys, uh, so tell us how what the price point is if someone wants to get this jelly, if they've got some dry skin during the summer. Right. So I have several different sizes. The size you have now is the one ounce. Um, I actually have a smaller, um, like a, a half an ounce size, which is more like a, a sample size. So that mm -hmm. if you're not quite sure, because one of my things is I don't like to buy things like in big if I don't know what it smells like. So I just mm -hmm. have, you know, little sample sizes for people to buy. So it's like two dollars and 50 cents. I think it is if you want to get like the little sample sizes just to like, you know, see which ones you like the best. Um, I have the one ounce, two ounce, um, four ounce, and eight ounce. And the price is as low as two fifty. And my most expensive, the eight ounce, is like I think it's what is it like thirteen dollars for the Great. biggest one. Yeah. So I try to make it in everybody's price range. So yeah. you know it's not too expensive. If you're not sure if you're gonna like it, but I know you're gonna love it. But, you know, sometimes people are a little funny about spending a lot of money for stuff that they don't know if they're going to like. So I made it price, you know, right. So people price can take that chance. Yeah. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. you know, I do find that um, things like this are great, especially now that we're approaching um, mm -hmm. summer, yeah. June. Uh, we'll have a full yeah. six months for Christmas and the holidays. Yeah. For Hanukkah, for Hanukkah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> People, these could be really great stocking stuffers. Yes, yes, you're right. Yes, this is really nice. And Perfect. It could fit even in a, it could fit even in a, um, in a, a mail package. Like if you were going to yes. mail out a card, I mean, it might mm -hmm. stick out a little, but it's really perfect. Yeah, it'll fit nice. And I even have like a nice little jewel bag that I put them in. So it's yes. already like kind of gift wrapped already. You don't have to do anything to it. You buy it, it comes in a jewel bag. And yes. it's like a bag out. like this. Yes, just like that. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I took it out of the bag because I want to, I'm going to be doing one thing about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so this is great. And now that you guys have met the maker of Asili and you can see her passion and her love, I find that really good products um, that I want to support when you meet the startup, when you meet the person behind the startup, uh, it helps the brand a little bit more, I think. And now yes. that we know that you're you're just a warm and loving person, we're so oh, glad to you. have you on. <laughs> yeah. Yes, Maybe I'm you know. so glad you had me on. I appreciate all of this and all your help. You've been great. Like, you know, you're welcome. You, you explain things really well and you're just always so energetic, so loving and caring and you're always oh. smiling. I love it. <laughs> Thank you so much. You know what? It's a jazz to see entrepreneurs just doing it and so anything yeah. i could do to help we're excited to have you aboard um the next time it makes sense for you and mm -hmm. definitely check in with us because we want to see the evolution of a silly and yes i'm excited and, you know, <laughs> i am too and you know what and people are gonna need it now petroleum yeah. jelly when i grew up well, growing up um i remember um you know my mom was always putting it on and back yeah, then everywhere just just rah and I remember yeah. some people saying that it would clog your pores, but no more, right? right? Like, what do we no. know about gasoline and, and mm -hmm. petroleum jelly? What do we know from then to now about yeah. it? Yeah. Well, now, and and the petroleum jelly, um, now, it does have some stuff in it that might not be too healthy, and it's kind of greasy on the skin. But my jellies are not like that. It's just the consistency of it. Um, it's good for the pores because it's just made out of natural stuff like, you know, cocoa butter and shea butter and stuff like that. It's just the consistency that, you know, makes it, you know, smooth on nicely and it doesn't leave your skin really oily. Like sometimes, you know, Vaseline will leave your skin, you know, kind of oily, yeah. but this you one stick doesn't. It to it your, stick it to your yes. <laughs> right. So you're not going to be shiny or anything like that. You're going to have your nice, you know, your nice tone. You're not going to have to touch somebody and they go, oh, you know. <laughs> Got on me. Yeah, don't mess up the hot next summer now. Right, right. You don't have to worry about it getting all over your clothes or anything like that. It's just, um, you know, it's just the feel of it. But it goes on really nice and it without leaving your skin really, you know, greasy, that greasy feeling it doesn't do. So can you if you have like an allergy, like a seasonal or a skin mm -hmm. allergy, or uh, if you are pregnant or if you mm -hmm. like what what are the things because you know how people are very conscious about because you know your epidermis right. is the largest organ on your body. So. Yes, it is. Yes. It looks and all so, simple. So it looks pretty clean in, in, in here. Yeah. Yeah. And it is. All this stuff is 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 good for the skin. Um, the only thing sometimes is some of the essential oil, because it does have essential oils in it, like the lavender and stuff like that. I think, you know, sometimes people can be like a little allergic, especially the ones that have, um, you know, like the orange and yeah. lemon, like yeah. some people, some of the citruses you know, might irritate people's skin, but I don't use uh, a whole lot of those oils. Um, so the content is low, so it shouldn't, you know, it shouldn't mess with your skin. It shouldn't, you know, um, irritate your skin. I do have one that's just made out of like cocoa butter and Ooh. cocoa butter is really good. Um, people, Some people have skin condition like eczema and stuff like that. And so that one's really good for somebody who wants to, that light scent, but you want to feel good and you're worried about, you know, your skin being too sensitive. That one's perfect for, you know, uh, just a mild right. jelly that doesn't uh, cause any reactions. Sounds like you've got something for everyone and every price yes. point. If you're not giving a stocking stuffer worth at least 250 guys, why right. even give a stocking? <laughs> right. It doesn't make any sense. Just exactly. give them dust. Don't just say yes. happy. <laughs> Don't exactly. get so this is great. You're awesome. Keep up the Thank beautiful you. work. Give your handles one more time in your contact email and where people can order and find you. Okay. So um, the website is www.asilibodyworks.com. And my Instagram is asili247. All right. Asili247. A pleasure yep. to see you. Have Same. a good <laughs> Have a good rest of your Memorial weekend. You too. Enjoy it. Thank you for having right. me again. I appreciate You're it. You're welcome. Right, take care. You too. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Bye. All right, guys. Um, 
So that was Cynthia from Asili Works, Body Works. And um, again, I love this little jar. I like the coloring, I like the packaging. I just like everything about it and it's affordable. All right, so uh, there's a lot going on around here. Um, yeah, so I wanted to just, I think we covered the documentary stuff. Um, if you guys haven't already, we're almost at a thousand likes. Please go ahead and give us a like. Excuse me, I'm a little dry here. Sparkling tea. If you give us a like on YouTube, the that excuse me on YouTube, it's the Pandemic Project documentary, and uh, you'll see the poster. And I'm on there, and Christopher John and Gentry Stanley's on there as well. And if you give us a like, we really like it. Um, it helps for us to gain visibility and um, push this project forward. And yeah, we want this to go down in the history books as something that we all went through together, and we're just documenting people. So um, there's no politics in it. We think this is a human interest story and um, not a political one. And therefore we're just going after the humanity of it. So that's the update. Oh, and I think we're gonna be back in the radio station really soon. I'm so happy about that. Cause you guys, you know, this is cool and everything but the station's better, right? Um, I know that I'll be traveling a lot, but uh, I'm, whenever I'm back in LA, I would like to be in the studio and have some in-studio guests. I know that Christy Buss is gonna come back and come in the studio. I know that we have a couple other people that are gonna come back in studio. So I'm excited for that. So stay tuned for announcements for that. Um, let's see, we covered the film, we covered the gifting suite, we covered the article and symposium app. You guys are gonna download that and be my hero on there. And Ooh, we might have an amazing guest next week. We definitely have a couple other people lined up and we have another one pending. So uh, next week's going to be great as well. I might be live um, from another location uh, next weekend as well. So that is the update there. You know, I'm going to do the what's in the bag, but I, I'm kind of just wanting to go over some of the items here. So we had three what's in the bags, right? We had Peggy 10 ounces uh, rooftop birthday. We have another event which I haven't announced yet that we did online. And then we did the Oscars Week Celebrity Gifting Suite bag. And some of the things in these bags were so amazing. Um, Absinthia was one of them. She was amazing. She came with this beautiful um, absinthe, you know, for your drinks, for your hot vac summer. Um, we also had some other good stuff here. You know, Christy Buss had her sea serum. That, that's amazing. Um, the profanity paraffins, you know, little curse words on the, on the candles, which is kind of fun too. Casey Creative, another one, another startup candle brand. Shout out to them. That smells really good, you guys. Oh, our bag was killer this year. I'm sorry. It was the best. Um, the leadership. Oh, yeah. The leadership shift, leadership movement. They had a beautiful candle as well. Shout out to Dr. Dina Brown. What's up? On um, Gun Institute. Oh, Dr. Marty KKC. She's awesome. Just ungunning trauma all around the world. Stay tuned. We have an article coming out by her for her. Um, oh man, mantra masks. These hemp masks are so cool. Like if my skin gets dry or if my eyes get puffy from flying or whatever, I'll put this on my face and it just cools and, and settles everything. This one's the collagen one. I had these amazing, um, I don't know. They were like little, uh, silicon palettes. Awesome. I'm, I'm going to order a few more of those from you guys. G1. A shout out to G1. Woo, they're going to be on next week. These shirts are so cool, G1. We can't wait to meet you. Tampon Tribe. All natural. Badass. Gotta have those. Oh, our, go our girl Tanya from Strands Unlimited. Yes, Tanya. Congratulations on all your success lately. A few more in here. Glam B. Glam bitch. Shop Glam B. The eyelashes I'm wearing today. This is a liquid mag magnetic strip. Huh, this bag is so good. Oh, shout out to 
Um, La Casa del Camino, if you got this bag, you got 20% off your stay. If you're looking for a staycation here in Laguna Beach, one of our sponsors, we appreciate you. La Casa del Camino, one of my favorite places because they have the rooftop bar where you can try some of Absinthia's absent drink there. And it's named after Peggy from her birthday. So go up there and have a good time. You get beautiful sunset views of Catalina from the rooftop there at La Casa, historic La Casa del Camino. Shout out to you guys up over there. Um, oh, yes, Chris Moore and his culinary amazingness, him and his wife. If you got this in the bag, you got 10% off. So check out more culinary services. Oh, wow. There's just so much good stuff here. Oh, yes, Ivy Moon. She's got some really great skin care. It's really thick. It stays on, keeps you moisturized. Ivy Moon, Mama Moon on Instagram. Shout out. The Facial Lounge in Corona Del Mar. If you got one of these, you got a gift certificate inside. Oh, man. This one's for $165. I'm giving this to a VIP as soon as I see him. And he doesn't even know it yet. Pure, vegan, and organic. And I just went and had a microdermabrasion. Amazing. First facial in over a year. Comes with cleaner. Good stuff. Good, good stuff. Quality. Good stuff. Been there. Bell out. Bell bonds. Serving the community. Helping people out. Shout out to Laura and his wife and family. Thank you for your support. Archery jewelry. Can't forget archery jewelry, you guys. Shout out to Loda in Bali and uh, her, her beautiful jewelry there. Aha. My ring that I like to wear. Yes, warrior ring. Whenever people see this, there's always at least one person that falls in love with it. They sell a piece every time, at least one. Ah, super bad. Premier cannabis. How you guys doing? Michael Solver, family wines. Thank you for your support and love. Cheers to you. Michael Solberg, family wines .com. Rain. Save Our Jewels by Rain. Non-toxic feminine care. Awesome. I am exclusive. Still wins the award for best sparkly mask of the pandemic, in my personal opinion. I think that's it. There's more quirkies. Life back. This helps you if you're choking, not die. And you can pump it. We're going to have them on to give us a demo. This is awesome. This is saving lives out there. Corky's raw shelled nuts, the best nuts around. Fund FC, fundamental care for foster children. Reach out to Cheryl at Cheryl at fundfc.org. She's awesome. She's helping kids get things and, and make things happen. Can't forget our rainwater. There's just so many guys, but I'm gonna do a what's in the bag and put all this in a video and you guys will see it. It'll be awesome. And we play with everything in the bag. And I just want to give a little extra love to everyone today. Shout out to everyone doing their thing. And thank you for tuning in. And enjoy the rest of your weekend. Uh, if you're not following me on Instagram, please follow me on Instagram. At the startup with Monique Loray. It's spelled L-O-R-E, Loray. Um, and at Cap Aquarius Media. That's Capricorn and Aquarius together. At Monique Loray Stinson. L-O-R-E-S-T-I-N-S-O-N. And uh, we'll see you next week. From not my house, from from another location, and uh, thanks for d dealing with me today with being a little tongue tied. Uh, excited to see what's next out there for you guys. We're looking for for new brands though for the Emmys week. So if you're one of these type of brands, if you have you bring something else to the table, uh, we're excited to explore it with you. Um, email me, find me, and let's chat. All right. And as usual, I always ask you this every week. Don't be afraid to start, you know, these are brands that started during a pandemic, you know, a global nightmare, and they're still here. So just put your foot, one foot in front of the other and keep going. What will you start up today? See you next weekend. Be well. You're listening to The Startup with Monique LeRae, only on LA Talk Radio.